piece is for a young individual, a Persian American man who's a who was a student or is a student at UCLA. Um, he was racially profiled in his library and attacked by police officers and tased several times while he was handcuffed. It's called an open letter to Mustafa the Batha Bayinajad. Dear Mustafa, in seeing you tased to the ground repeatedly, your hands bound back and your legs flipping up, I am reminded of Abu Ghraib. Don't let them tell you any differently, my brother, for the definition of torture lies in the unreasonable expectation and to demand that you stand up as they repeatedly kick you to the ground is a lot like holding out one hand with the promise of Muslim Americanhood while the other hand holds a razor to slowly shave our rights away. <laughs> my heart breaks and beats and 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 wants to beat with you dance to a rhythmic tabla beat my hands on a powdered drum I am initially surprised I wonder why the crowd of 50 or 60 is merely gathered around you yelling not attacking those cops not smacking their weapons from their hands the way those pigs look to have mothers and fathers with blood Asian American blood Latino blood black and blood native and had all been chased out of town before, lynched before, enslaved before, illegal before, were three-fifths of a person before, denied entry before, reserved before, stateless before, ro racially profiled before, and detained without charge before. But then again, I am not surprised at all, for we will never learn to act organize, deconstruct, beat a political drum and dance, and finally, move our bodies en masse, stop going to work, stop going to class, stop driving cars, stop buying shit until we take the feeling that we have a lot to lose, and finally get rid of it. I imagine myself being tased in my college library and honestly, would not expect anyone to intervene on my behalf. I turn to my friend and ask, you know, this is how it begins, right? Occupation, police states, war and proxy, undercover cops, see? We be the enemy, the blood pulsing destiny of this dying country. Six imams forced off a plane for worshiping God in a way good old Americans didn't understand. The FBI interviews male members of my family as a matter of course. I fly with blank passports to countries scarred by wars. My mummy on a plane and threatened by the man next to her for wearing hijab and asking him not to curse. They wonder why we hate them. They want us to stop being angry. To not mark off our tiny plot of existence and call it our own brother. I find myself in sad, lonely moments whispering, I want to go home. Not quite sure where that is. Dear Mustafa, I could have written this letter to Dictator Bush, my local representative, my campus newspaper, the head of the ACLU, but no, I write this letter to you. I write to promise you and my family and all my communities that I, that we, will never lose. Not lose this battle or this struggle or this dream because I will never relax my fists off my pen and I will use my words as weapons because words can pierce the heart to movement but bullets merely pierce the heart and then all is still. In love, solidarity, resistance and respect, a froze.